What's up guys, Retro Gamer Steve back with another video. Tonight's gonna be a pickups video. I hope you guys enjoy. So let's dive right in, shall we? All right guys, so let's dive right in to the pickups. Um, I went to GameStop and they had a buy two, get two. So I took this opportunity to pick up a few games. And one of them was Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga Bowser's Minions for the 3DS. Uh, this is a great um, 2D platforming RPG style game. I have one of the other Mario and Luigi um, Bowser's insides or inside Bowser or something like that for the DS. And uh, these games are a lot of fun. So I took the uh, opportunity to pick this one up. And I'm super glad I did. This is a great game. Another game I've been wanting to pick up. And uh, for the Wii U. I do love collecting for the Wii U. And that is Tokyo Mirage Sessions. Um, now that the Switch edition came out. The Wii U edition dropped a little bit in price. So I was finally able to pick one up for what I thought was a reasonable price and um, this game's great really beautiful um, RPG style fighting game so I was super glad to pick that up then another game I got there was a game I've been eyeballing for a while now been eyeballing this game for a while now and that is This War of Mine Complete Edition for the Switch. Um, I've only seen this game maybe twice and I've been thinking about it for a while. It looked really interesting. Um, this game is really cool. I uh, played this for about two hours the other night and it's basically the levels look like this. Except you, well, you start off in this building here, and you've got three different people, and there's a war going on around you, and over time it gets closer, and you have to survive or try to keep all three of your people alive as long as you can, and um, so you have to forage and build things, and um, it's it's really interesting, uh, a lot of fun. If you see this game, and this type of thing is interesting to you. Uh, I recommend picking this game up. Super glad that I uh, was able to get this game. And so the f for the fourth game, I don't normally pick up loose cartridges and stuff. But um, I just couldn't help myself this time for the buy to get to. Uh, I was able to justify it this way. But that is Borderlands 2 for the Vita. And uh, took it out of the black GameStop case and put it in this, which holds my loose Vita games. Um, these two games were actually in Vitas that I purchased, uh, so I don't have the cases for them. Um, looking out for those, but so I put it in here with the other loose games. So I do have Borderlands 2 for the Vita. So those were my GameStop pickups. Then I went to Best Buy and picked up a game I've been looking for for a while for the Switch. And that was the Genesis Classic. Uh, this game, or should I say games, has a ton of just awesome, awesome classic games. Uh, I've already played like, I don't know, seven or eight hours of this. Just all the different games, playing through them. Just a blast. Uh, I know that these have been done before, but this one was done really well. And I highly recommend it. And the other game was a game I picked up for $15. It is actually still sealed. Uh, and it will stay that way until I open it. Uh, down the road if I even do 
obviously collection of mana. This is Final Fantasy Adventure, Secret of Mana, and Trials of Mana, all three. So for $15 brand new, uh, had to bring it home with me. All right, guys, and the rest of these are uh, Vita games. I want to start off with Operation Babel. Uh, this is basically a first-person dungeon crawler RPG. It's a really cool art style. Very slow. Uh, you have to be into this type of game to really enjoy this game. Um, but I had to pick this up. Um, I've watched some videos about it. And... Uh, it looked really interesting to me, so I figured I would take a chance on it. And um, either way, I'm going to be happy that I added this to the collection. Then a limited runs game. This is still sealed, and that is Spelunky. This is a really cool 2D platformer. Um, Pitfall style game except you're hunting for treasure and uh it's really cute um super happy to have been able to grab this game i've uh, been looking at this game for a while also then another one i just got in today i was really excited to get and that is gundamoniums <clears throat> this is a Strictly Limited game. This is a shoot 'em up bullet hell game. Really well done. These games are a lot of fun. Uh, this is the third Strictly Limited game um, for the Vita. And uh, I have the first two as well. Um, 99 Vitas is the first one. And uh, Bunny Must Die was the second release. This was the third release by Strictly Limited for the Vita. So I have the first three uh, releases that they ever did for the Vita. And this is a sealed copy as well. But I love the shoot 'em ups and this is a fantastic game. So those are the regular edition Vita games that I got. Then I have a few collector's editions. One of them is Fate Extella, the Umbral Star, the Noble Phantasm Edition. This thing is huge, weighs a ton. This is an excellent RPG, very fast paced. Anybody who's ever played a Fate Extella game, this one is open. It's got its pull tab here. It's got the game. And it's got these um, hard acrylic cards, like tarot cards. And this is what they all look like on the back with the different characters and you can hold them up to the light and they all have different patterns on the back that you can put together uh, to make a bigger picture which is really cool uh, these are still sealed and then this is a cloth banner that um, i actually put up on my wall and then this is a hardback book um, art book. So, love this box set here. Just an awesome, awesome game. Awesome box set. Like I said, this thing weighs like, I don't know, two pounds. But super, 
super excited to have that. And I also got Cosmic Star Heroin for the PlayStation Vita. Uh, this is a sealed um, special edition. This is also, a, this is a very fast paced RPG. Um, a little bit less focused on the story and more involved on the game and gameplay in this game. Um, but just a, a fantastic game all around. Great artwork. Just a beautiful game. Um, this one also comes with uh, a CD. It comes with a Sega CD style case in here. Um, comes with uh, a manual and an art book as well. Um, I thought about opening this just for the Sega CD style case that's inside of it. But um, maybe down the road until then it shall remain sealed. Um, but it looks great sitting on the shelf and... Um, super happy to have this in the Vita collection. And then last but not least, a sealed collector's edition of Sayonara Yumihara Kawasi. Um, this is a fantastic game as well. Unfortunately, no photos on the back. Um, if you know what the Bionic Commando game is, where he shoots the thing out of his out of his arm and the claw grabs, and then he pulls himself up with that, very much the same game style or gameplay as that, except she uses a fishing rod and pulls herself up with the fishing rod. Um, this one comes with an uh, Super Famicom cart or a Famicom cart. I can't remember um, one or the other, but it comes with a cart. Um, does not have a chip in it. It's just for looks, but super cool. It's got the original Sayonara um, sticker on the cartridge. And then, of course, this comes with a CD and a bunch of other stuff as well. Um, and this is actually the fourth release by Strictly Limited for the PlayStation Vita. So now I have the first four releases um, that they ever had for the Vita, which is pretty cool. So those are the three collector's editions I got and the rest of my pickups. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Hope you enjoyed the games I picked up. If you did and you're not yet a subscriber, please think about subscribing to my channel, guys. And please hit that thumbs up for me. That helps my channel grow. And uh, I appreciate you guys checking it out. And if you did like this content, do yourselves a favor and check out a few of these other channels, guys. First off, Contagious Collection, then War Train Wins, then Fit to Play Games, then Transformers and Video Games, and then Kamikaze e -kun. Go check these channels out, guys. Awesome content. You won't regret it. Uh, really great stuff. So thanks again for watching, guys, and until next time, keep gaming.